NRL.com is here with David Shillington. David, you've played in about four or five PM's 13 teams. Tell us about your experiences. Uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic going over there. You sort of have to see it to believe it. Uh, they treat you like rock stars. It's, um, you jump off the, uh, the plane and they're all chanting your name and they follow the bus everywhere and it's a military escort. So um, look, it's a, it's a special experience and I'm looking forward to going back again. How does that game compare to some of the other representative games you've um, played in? Uh, you, you can't really compare it. Um, you know, obviously the fans are so passionate over there. It's like um, State of Origin for them uh, back here, and um, and then just uh, you know you're playing with a good good bunch of blokes, a good quality players as well. So um, yeah, it, it's up there, and uh, it's an exciting match to be a part of. How would you rate your opponents? How tough are the Kumuls? They they are tough. Um, they're like cannonballs. Just uh, put the head down and just spear into you, and um, you got to do your best. Uh, they're obviously a lot shorter and um, stockier than I am, um, so it's it's hard for me to run at them sometimes. I sort of pick me up and it tipped me on head, my head a few times but um, and they're a bit unpredictable too but uh, now they've got Adrian Lamb and Mel Mooninger coaching them they should have a bit more structure so um, yeah they might be a, a, a tough opponent. You've got young Josh Papali in the side with you this year I mean what would your words of advice be to him? Uh, oh Papa doesn't need too much help uh, he had a great year this year and he showed himself to be a big hitter and and very hard to bring down when he's running the ball too. Um, he's probably the same build as a lot of those um, Papua New Guinea players, so um, that'll work well for him. But um, oh, he, he just needs to lap up the experience, you know. It might be the only trip he ever goes over there, so I'm sure he'll have a lot of fun. Obviously, it's a bit of a World Cup trial. I mean, how much is that on your mind? Yeah, that's at the front of my mind for sure. Um, uh, I'd love to be part of the World Cup. We've sort of been working towards that um, for the last four years and doing the Four Nations tours. And, uh, you know, we lost in 2008 and I wasn't a part of that, but um, it's, it's something the team knows and, and we want to get that World Cup back. So, yeah, hopefully put in a good performance over in Papua New Guinea and, and uh, get picked for the World Cup. It will be the last um, game you'll probably play before the World Cup. So it really is an important time that you really make your mark. Yeah, well, Tim's picked a, uh, a really strong side uh, for this game, so I think that's a good indication that it's a bit of a warm-up match for uh, the World Cup and also a bit of a trial too. A few, uh, few selections um, you know, still on the table there, so yeah, hopefully I have a big game and, and, um, and put my best foot forward for the selection.